What's up, family? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Yes Chef. Well, not that exciting. I mean, there's no food, but we got a lot of information for you. So first and foremost, I will be starting a live cooking show on my TikTok channel. I will link that down in the description so you can go and subscribe to the TikTok because we are about to do big things on my channel. And I am going to be joined by none other than underscore the real jazz she is going to be in the building with me we are going to be cooking it up we are going to be developing a lot of great content for you she's also going to be joined with devon my main man he's going to pop in there as well so look we don't have a lot of information right now we are just behind the scenes getting everything together so that prompted me to start the vlog and this vlog is going to help everyone kind of figure out what they need in the kitchen so all of these must-haves are things that I do have in my kitchen and you should have in yours too here's the problem I know a lot of people don't really know where to go and get good quality utensils and pots and pans and things for their kitchen and that's what you have me here for and listen I will never tell you to do something that I won't do I go to these places and I shop for my things as well. What are these places? We got your Marshalls, you got your Burlington's, your Ross, your TJ Maxx's. We're going to all of them because I don't know what part of the country you're in or the world you're in. And if you have these things, maybe you have one, maybe you have two, maybe you have all of these stores near you that you can go and kind of look around and shop for the essentials for what you need for your kitchen because this show is going to be interactive it's going to be cutting edge and we are going to make sure that everybody is going to be able to know how to cook at some point but in order to establish that type of cooking you have to have the right tools right so this is my vlog going to all of these different stores it may be about an eight or ten part series where i go in to the different stores show you what they have in there and the prices that they have tell you what not to buy and tell you what you should buy and listen we're going to save a lot of money and we're going to build up your kitchen so that you are going to be really successful when it's time to finally get in there and show everybody what you can do so now in part two, we're gonna learn about pots and pans that are at Burlington. We're gonna learn what to look for, what not to buy, what you should invest in. Very informative, so pay attention, because there's a lot coming at you. I don't see any chef pans in here, except for these over here. And I would suggest something like this, and here's why. You see this on the bottom? This right here, that bottom, that's a heavy bottom. This is a, this is a chef's pan, okay? What's gonna happen is, because of this bottom, you're gonna get even heat that's coming through here. Even heat. And you're gonna be able, and this is gonna be non-stick. You don't have to worry about it. It's stainless steel, and it has the cool grip and you can put it in the oven in case you have to do something, finish something off in the, in the oven. This is dishwasher safe, cool grip, stick handles, stainless steel construction, and it's got a lifetime warranty. I'm... So the price on this one, $30. This is gonna last you, you're gonna be cooking on something like this for a very long time. As long as you take care of it, use steel, wood pa steel wool pads in order um, to clean it to make sure that none of that buildup is on there. All right, so the next thing I think you're gonna need is a nice um, wok. Now, a lot of y'all think woks should be, should have Teflon on it. This is carbon steel, all right? This is a carbon steel 14 inch wok, heavy duty carbon steel, non-stick coating, suitable for all stove tops except induction but this wok is a very good now i use my woks to fry in so let's check out the price on this one look there look at that 12.99 your kitchen will always need two or more big mixing bowls two or more and if you're going to get a mixing bowl you need to go big okay this is a 20, this is a 20 quart 
mixing bowl. This is a 22 quart mixing bowl. You're at some point, this is going to come in handy. 20 and 22 quarts. Now, this one's 17. This one is 16. You'll never have to buy another bowl again. Invest right here is $12. I mean, that's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's not bad. Um, this is the same one. And you can also find something like this. You can also find something like this as well. They make these. Um, the ones I would probably not deal with are like these. I mean, I don't know. It's just something like something like this. I'm I'm just these are like they're so flimsy. This is aluminum. So they're flimsy. You want to stay away from the aluminum. Um, here's one right here. No, that's 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 Hampton Beach. So I wouldn't recommend that either. So it's really hard to find some of those. But let's switch over to some pots where they were. We're, we're talking like a like a stock pot, something to cook some beans in or something. Of course, this doesn't have the the heavy bottom. So you want to find one with the heavy bottom, which would probably be a little bit hard to do. They're all, it seems like they're all ceramic coatings. What is this? No, this is a Dutch oven. This is a bullshit Dutch oven. This is good for paella. Yeah, this is, a, this is a paella pan. All right, and for those who love paellas, this is this is a good one right here. You'll be hard pressed to find a really good paella pan, but this seems to be pretty pretty decent. Um, this is only nine ninety nine, so for ten dollars you get your paella pan. This is listen, you can't make paella right if you don't have one of these pans. Ask me how I know. I got a paella video, and I it took me four tries to get it right. It took a lot of maneuvering to get that paella pan uh, to get that paella right. And just a regular old pan. Um, okay, I can I can get with something like this. All right, so I found it. I found a pretty good, decent um, skillet with high with the. Um, high ends on them this is pretty good this is nice and durable you can put this in the oven as well so it's deep but it's just it's not big which is fine but if you want something bigger i don't see anything here in burlington where we can have you can have something bigger but this one is a nice one this one is nice and it's going to cost you a little bit it's going to cost you 30 dollars. but something like this i think will last you a really really long time and when i say a really long time i'm talking like 10, 15 years, it'll last you. Aluminum, aluminum. So stay away from the aluminum. Stay away from the aluminum. You don't want this. This is not going to last. Stay away from the cute little, um, this cute little stuff. It's all aluminum. It's not going to last you long. Um, this one is $26. I just would not recommend this. At some point, you're going to have to replace it. Just 
this is this is too thin. Better than this one. Gracias. Yeah. So as far as so as far as um, saucepans are concerned, I kind of like this one. I kind of like this saucepan. Five layer, vented pour, and strain lid. Dishwasher safe, and it has the measuring marks in it. So this is pretty cool, and it has like a like a nice. Um, heavy bottom it is stainless steel again 16 bucks it's gonna last you a while has the little pour spouts in it this will last you. this is a nice saucepan um, the saucepans that I have are restaurant quality saucepans um, so I have like the real saucepans from restaurants but that is good that one is that one is a good one so I can't find I can't find any of the pots so we'll probably have to go somewhere else to look for the pots so all right so that's it for our all right. so that's it for our burlington and we're at the big burlington because you know they're building the small burlington so the big burlington's is probably your best your best um route for this stuff but man listen we're going to go find some other stuff at some of these other stores and we'll be back then the little 17 16 dollars get you some big mixing bowls because i'm telling you now especially if you got a big family you're going to need it if you're going to be serious about cooking then guess what you're going to need some mixing bowls all right so i found it i found a pretty good decent um skillet with high with the um high ends on them this is pretty good this is nice and durable you can put this in the oven as well so it's deep but it's just it's not big which is fine but if you want something bigger i don't see anything here in burlington where we can have you can have something bigger but this one is a nice one this one is nice and it's going to cost you a little bit it's going to cost you 30 dollars. but something like this i think will last you a really really long time and when i say a really long time i'm talking like 10, 15 years, it'll last you. Aluminum, aluminum. So stay away from the aluminum. Stay away from the aluminum. You don't want this. This is not going to last. Stay away from the cute little, um, this cute little stuff. It's all aluminum. It's not going to last you long. Um, this one is $26. I just would not recommend this at some point you're going to have to replace it so as far as so as far as um saucepans are concerned i kind of like this one i kind of like this saucepan five layer vented pour and strain lid dishwasher safe and it has the measuring marks in it so this is pretty cool and it has like a like a nice um, heavy bottom it is stainless steel again 16 bucks it's gonna last you a while has the little pour spouts in it this is what last you. this is a nice saucepan um the saucepans that i have are restaurant quality saucepans um so i have like the real saucepans from restaurants but that is good that one is that one is a good one so i can't find I can't find any of the pots, so we'll probably have to go somewhere else to look for the pots. So that's it for our Burlington, and we're at the big Burlington because you know they're building the small Burlington. So the big Burlingtons is probably your best, your best um, route for this stuff. But man, listen, we're gonna go find some other stuff at some of these other stores. And we'll be back then.